speed the development of new drug and biologic products that address unmet medical needs in the treatment of serious and life-threatening conditions, FDA has established four expedited programs, fast-track designation, breakthrough therapy designation, accelerated approval, and priority review designation. Recent data indicate that industry is taking advantage of these expedited programs. From 2014 through 2016, FDA approved 108 novel new drugs. Of these, 65% took advantage of one or more expedited program, and of these that did take advantage of these programs, 63% had orphan designation for rare pediatric disease. For sponsors intending to utilize one or more of the expedited programs, we recommend consideration of a few key concepts associated with program eligibility requirements. First, all four expedited programs are intended to address unmet medical needs. As such, having a thorough understanding of available therapy relative to the sponsor's proposed indication is critical in being able to make a proper unmet medical need assessment. FDA currently defines available therapy as a therapy that is licensed or approved in the U.S. for the proposed indication as well as relevant to the standard of care in the United States for that indication. Second, it's important for sponsors to understand the information requirements associated with each one of these programs and how these requirements relate to their product's stage of development. A good example of this is a sponsor can obtain fast-track designation with preclinical data only, whereas clinical data with their product is required to obtain breakthrough therapy designation. Given this, it's plausible that a sponsor could obtain fast-track designation earlier in their development program compared to breakthrough therapy designation given the data requirements between the two programs. So once a sponsor fulfills all of the criteria associated with one or more expedited program, there are other elements that need to be considered. Namely, a sponsor should be prepared to engage in a rapid manufacturing development program to accommodate for the accelerated pace of the clinical program. The sponsor should also be prepared for the agency to inspect their facilities early in the application review process. And finally, sponsors should be prepared for frequent engagement by the agency, either through requests for information or meetings. So given all the obstacles associated with expedited programs, it behooves the sponsor to collaborate with a partner experienced in navigating complex regulatory pathways.